Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Nat. Today we are going to talk about the top 10 things I wish I knew before I started driving Uber and Lyft. I hope you guys find this useful. Here we go. Number one, surge pricing. Uber and Lyft have certain times during the day when you can earn more. For example, in the morning, people are you know in a rush, going to work, going to the airport, going here, going there. You can make actually up to two times more during that time than you would normally make. So it's actually a good time to drive. Also, in the evening, same thing. People are going home from work. People are going to the basketball game. People are going out for dinner. The demand is higher, therefore you're getting paid more. So AM and PMs are really optimal times to drive. Number two is the ability to turn the app on and off anytime you want. There's no minimum amount of hours that you have to do. There's no maximum amount of hours that you have to do. You are in full control. You can decide, you know, if you want to go out at 10 a.m. and come off at 12, and you want to go back out at 4 and come home at 8, it's totally up to you. If you want to do a four hour shift, you can do that. If you want to do a six hour shift, you can do that. Heck, if you want to do 12 hours straight, go for it. Just remember to take breaks, guys, because it is tiring, it is very exhausting, and you do need to recuperate, you do need to eat, go to the bathroom, things like that. Number three, there are different types of rides that you're entitled to as a driver. For example, Lyft Economy versus Lyft Luxury. So Lyft Economy is just like UberX, it's just a regular ride, you're going to point A to point B, paying a regular fare, versus a Lyft Lux is you're paying for a luxury car, so maybe it's a premium car, like, you know, an Audi or a Mercedes. It could even be a regular SUV, it can be a Hyundai SUV, it can be a Nissan SUV, it can be a Pathfinder. Um, but you're paying a bit more because you're paying for a premium car, you want a bit more comfort and a bit more luxury. And all of these different rides charge differently. So some rides you'll make more than others. Number four, you can drive for both apps. You can drive for Lyft and Uber, even at the same time if you want to. I know people who drive for both applications and they have both apps open at one time. So if one ride comes in, they turn off the app on the other. Or if uh, you know rides come in at the same time, they cancel one and continue with the other. I mean, I even know someone who rides with two phones. Um, one on each end and basically if one comes in he turns off the other and that works for him. Driving for both applications means that you're entitled to the bonuses so you can earn bonuses on one and then bonuses on the other because they run their bonuses throughout the day at different times. So it's pretty lucrative and you can take advantage of that. Number five, getting your car inspection done. So when I got mine done, I went into Canadian Tire, I paid the $80 and I got my inspection certificate. This is what you need to sign up as an Uber or a Lyft driver. Obviously you need a pass. So I started off on the Lyft app. I got used to how things work and then I thought to myself, hmm, I think I'm gonna try Uber. So when I went to register, I didn't realize that my certificate expired in like 30 days. So I had to go back to Canadian Tire, get it re-evaluated, re-inspected, and pay the same $80. So if you're thinking about driving for both apps, do it within 30 days so you can avoid this mistake. Number six, if you guys ever have an issue with someone or you know you have questions, I would recommend going into a hub, like an Uber or a Lyft hub, rather than picking up the phone and talking to someone from customer service from Timbuktu. It is so much easier to deal with someone face to face, you understand them more, they understand you more, and they're able to educate you things on things that you probably didn't know. When I went into my first Uber hub, it was when I was just registering and I had a question about the registration bonus. I was signing up under a bonus online that was for $800. And while I got to talking with my customer service person, she actually increased it to $2,000. She was able to do that on her end. She was also able to answer a whole bunch of questions that I had and just familiarize myself with a lot of things as a new driver. So I really appreciated that. It gave me momentum to reach that goal, you know, because by the time I reached my 200th ride, I was guaranteed $2,000. So just remember, if you want to speak to someone face to face, you have an issue or a question go into a hub it's worth it number seven you don't need a car of your own to drive for uber or lyft i didn't know this and i mean i have my own car but it would have been it would have been good to know basically how this works when you register online uber or lyft asks you do you need a car so if you do you hit yes and they link you with one of their rental partners so how this works is you know you work a certain amount of hours during the week and the rental fee is automatically deducted from your earnings. 
So this is a really good option for people who don't own their car or don't lease their car but want to drive and earn money. So I mean you really don't miss the rental fee because it's automatically deducted from your fee. This way you don't have to worry about maintenance costs, carrying costs, insurance, depreciation. It really is a good option for people who don't have their own car. Number eight, set destination. This feature is available in both apps and it allows you to put in an exact address of where you're going. So what this does is it allows you to pick up rides heading in that same direction on that route. I find it actually gives you longer rides, which works out to pay you more because people are going a longer distance, therefore you're being paid more. Uh, it really beats beating those shorter rides I find and it makes for a good overall experience. On the flip side, if you're heading home at the end of the day and you're tired, you can put in your home address and only pick up rides heading in that direction, which is awesome. Then you don't have to go here to pick up this person, here to drop off that person. It really works out. So I would encourage you guys to get familiar with the set destination feature and use it because it can only work for your benefit. Number nine, don't let people add stops just by asking you to stop over here for two minutes or to pick up this person at the subway for two minutes. If they wanna modify their trip or add a stop, they can do that, but just tell them to do it in the app. If you need to pull over for two seconds, do that, put your hazards on until they update the app, and then you can continue your ride because you need to be compensated for these extra stops, whether it's one stop or multiple stops, just have them make the modification in the app. Number 10 bonuses registration bonuses you guys need to register under a bonus because they're going to be guaranteed a certain amount of money once you reach a certain amount of rides i registered under a bonus it was eight hundred dollars and then when i went into a hub she was able to increase it to two thousand dollars guaranteed so when i reached my 200th ride i got an email saying congratulations natasha you got your 200 ride here's your two thousand dollars but be careful because how it works is it's the money you earn during that time so for me I was able to earn about $1,200 and uh, they made up for the difference because some people will get to the $2,000 and some people won't so that is what they mean by guaranteed um, it's not $2,000 they're just gonna give you you have to earn it but if there's any slippage they put in the difference this is an average that they've come up with so whether you do uber or Lyft or do both make sure you register under a registration bonus Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the comment box below. Hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you soon in my other videos. Have a great day.